Hey everybody, catch yourselves back again with another tutorial video. This time we're going to be doing unlocking. Uh, we'll see how long that video runs. And then, if not, I'll make another one. If it's not too long, I'll make another one or I'll just do it all at once. We'll see. Um, if you watch my other video, you'll know I used a uh, how to guide rookie rooting and flashing from Zoom Forms, written by Asterix. Very well written guide, easy to follow. But we'll post the video up here so it's even easier. Uh, my other videos, he's edited his posts to include my other video, which the first one was for unlocking and, you know, unrooting back to a factory state. Alright, so first of all, um, here's my zoom. It's back to version 301 at build number HWI69. Um, the first thing you want to do once your zoom reboots, assuming you're going to, well, regardless if you're rooting, if you're going to try and do this or not, first thing you're going to do, if you're still on Honeycomb, you're going to go to Applications, and then Development, and then USB Debugging. Make sure that's checked. If you're on ICS already, the uh, development option should be you know closer down here towards the bottom, towards the About Tablet area. Um, so make sure USB Debugging is on. And when you connect your PC, when you connect your Zoom to the PC, you'll have that little symbol that tells you USB debugging is connected. And that's so ADB will see the device and we can push commands to it. Um, so first of all, you're going to need the Zoom USB drivers. You have to have those so that the computer knows that your Zoom is connected. Um, you're going to have the easy ADB setup. You're going to need to download that from here and set that up. Once you download that, you'll extract a folder from the zip. You don't need the whole zip. You're going to open the, open the zip, extract the folder, move it to the root of your C drive. And the folder is going to be called SDK Tools. And you can leave that name the same or you can rename it. Just remember what the name is because you're going to be running commands from there. And then, once we have that, um, you're going to need to download, well, we can just do the unlock. We'll just do the unlock in one video. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is unlock it. So we're going to change the prompt here. We got the default directory that comes up. We're going to change that to C C slash SDK underscore tools. Anyway, we can put in ADB devices and see it brought back that string of letters and numbers. That means that the prompt knows that my zoom is there. It knows it's connected. So we're good to go. Um, so again, make sure you got <coughs> USB debugging enabled and that all that is ready to go. And that you got that folder where you need it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do to unlock our zoom, we're gonna tell ADB to reboot. Move my keyboard over. So ADB to reboot, bootloader, enter. Oh, did I not type it right? Okay, yeah, I didn't type it right. Hang on. Okay, ADB reboot. ADB. Reboot bootloader. I didn't have one of my spaces in there. Okay, enter. So it's going to push the command, and now my Zoom is going to restart. Okay, so now it's sitting there waiting. And I'll go ahead and mention this real quick. I didn't mention in my other video of relocking your Zoom, but don't forget to change your splash image back to the original image. Okay. So now that you're sitting here waiting, the zoom's waiting for commands. First thing we're gonna do, and now that we're back in this state again, 
It's no longer ADB. It's going to be fast boot. Your first command is going to be fast boot now. So, because we're telling fast boot what to do. We want fast boot. OEM. Unlock. Enter. Now we're going to move to the screen here on the zoom. To proceed with unlocking your device, you must read and accept the following terms. Now all this is saying is that it's going to void your warranty. Uh, be careful if you do it. Um, I believe it says in there that you can't go back to a locked state, but you can. So you got to worry about that. Um, it's going to erase your data once you do this. And so everything's going to be wiped. So make your backups or whatnot if you're not rooted. You know, I mean, if you hadn't made backup backups already, connect to your PC before you try and do this. Copy anything that you want to save. All that good stuff. So we're going to use volume down. See right here, we can change I accept or cancel. Volume down switches that option. So we're going to put it on I accept, and we're going to hit volume up. And now it's going to tell me again about to unlock your device. Are you sure you want to continue? It's giving me a second chance. So we're going to it down again. Yes or cancel. We're going to put it on yes and hit volume up. So here we are back again. Still not rooted, just unlocked. Everything's going to be the same. We're still on 301 HWI 69. Next will come the custom recovery and the rooting. We'll do that in another video. I'll go ahead and just post this by itself. If you've got any questions, leave them below. Later.